High on a rocky pass in the northeastern part of the Indian continent, there lived a musician. Ali was his name, and he played his sitar to the winds that blew over the valley, so they would carry his song of life to the world. Life to Ali was sad, sometimes happy, revolving on the way he felt. For ten long years, he sat high on the mountain, expressing what he felt, but no one heard. At this time, the moon passed into the seventh house. And Jupiter aligned with Mars. The planet had passed into the age of Aquarius. Mankind had awakened. The day was hot, and the heat shimmered in tempo with his sitar. Ali was sitting exposed to the sun's hot, simmering rays. Answer to his song. Had he found Valhalla? The sound came from across the impossible, impossible valley. And he sent a question. It was answered, and so it went on: the questioning, the answering, for three days and three nights. From that time on, the two musicians, unseen and unknown to each other, communicated, divulging their deepest, innermost, most secret, secret thoughts and passions. Ali had found his counterpart, and she, sitting across the valley, with her long hair flowing across her tender, gentle. 